The just concluded African Cup of Nations have opened the eyes of many people, taught many people some vital lessons of life, and above all, it has helped expose some false prophets. It is very interesting to note that many African prophets took to their social media accounts and started prophesying and assuring the people that they had watched the match in the spirit realm. And they gave detailed prophecies of what people were to expect in the final, calling exact minutes when incidents will take place in the game, prophesying who will score, who will take the cup, uh, who, who is to be afraid of who. Some even went as far as saying they saw the winner of the game, they wanted to beg, they even want, they said after seeing the winner, they even wanted to beg God to change it. They wanted to change God's mind because what they saw was not what they wanted. So one even said, one popular preacher, that you all know i'll be mentioning his name he said someone paid him to change the result of the game so quickly in this video we'll be visiting the different prophecies and how these prophets disgraced themselves and shot themselves in the in the leg with their prophecies and how god finally put them to shame how their behavior does not tally with the word of god then if you watch this video to the end there's a popular preacher who everyone is celebrating that he gave the most accurate prophecy so far i will prove to you the flaw in that prophecy and the true source of that prophecy let's go though the match today is going to be intense and um, though it's going to be a car a match of cards so you know card i saw one two three but it's also going to be a match of goals but Nigeria will rejoice. They are not just rejoicing because of the cup. But you are rejoicing because of a new Nigeria. It might not look like it, it might not seem like it, but it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I'm almost pushed to tell you the score line, but I will not. I'm almost, I'm almost, I'm almost. Like, listen, listen, it's a Siemens day. Now, you don't need me to talk much to tell you that this prophet lied. Because Nigerians did not rejoice, Nigerians were crying. Hmm? So, Anosime did not score throughout the whole game. So, you can see that this prophet is a liar. So, let's move to the next one. Good morning, viewers all over the world. This is a prophecy over Africa Coast and Nigeria. I saw Africa Coast going home with that trophy in the final match of Africa in error by Pasha VRF. But I will be going to mountain to talk to God because that cup belongs to Nigeria. The original and the rightful team or country that we go home with that cup is Nigeria under the original plan of God. So let me go and talk to God on the mountain for the victory of Nigeria. When I am done with my God, the world will know that God is not a man. Man may try, man may plan, man may arrange, but it is unto the Lord to conclude and come up with a result. So I am bringing this notice to all Nigerians players to get set and also to pray along with me as I am going to mountain on their behalf and on the behalf of the whole Nigerians. Wherever you are, join me in this prayer because by the special grace of God, under supernatural power of God, we must bring that cup back to Nigeria. Yes sir, yes sir, you are right. God is not a man. But you and I know that that prophecy you just gave now was not from God. That prophecy is from you. Said every coast is going to win the match by the free partiality and what, 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 what. Everyone who watched that match know that Ivory Coast won the match fair and square. Nothing like referee partiality. Hmm? 
so now you said uh, you saw the ghost carrying the cup you want to go and show the world that you want to pray so when you went to the mountain god didn't answer your prayer or what you wanted to portray god to be someone who doesn't answer prayers or to be a god that doesn't answer prayers we know that our god answer prayers you are just a confused person you came out here to be giving us your opinion you say god told you i bet go and sit down let's move to the next prophecy pray for almost 21 almost Eh, uh, make you say okay? No, uh, 21. <laughs> Almost. Let's pray. Let's pray that that one favors us. Beautiful first staff. Mm, second half. Uh. When Mr. Victor will do like this. Hey, I'm not Victor. You are. You are okay. No. What does that mean? It means that he score. What does that mean? against mistake in the hand of our keeper mistake at 49 pray against mistake at 49 pray against to be the fact that if we get this it will ease nigeria it's like we it's like we took ice cream after king you know, when, you know when you beat a child and you give him ice cream, you will not know whether to cry or to lick the ice cream. But ice cream has a way of licking himself in your hand. Looking at That's my prayer. But will this be the first one we ever take? We have taken it before, I've come. Eh? Three before. It's the fourth one. What's today? Today is what date? I don't want to talk much, I beg. But in the first bow, hey, is it for us or against us? But in the second bow, almost extra bow. No, let me just leave it like that. It's a parable. Got it. And we pray for it. That there will be a lot of almost, 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 almost. Victor, he, he born. He scored. But he will say, hey, finally. Man of the match. Man of the, I don't know what they call them, child. A man like him, awarded. So we pray that the biscuit comes to us. Two, but the tendency is high. What I saw yesterday, it's like God is answering prayer. Now, this one also prophesied and said that Victor Zime will score a goal and will be awarded man of the match. But we can see that he was not awarded man of the match. He did not score a goal. Is it the devil that is talking to these people or God? Because God cannot lie, lie to anybody. The only person that lies is the devil. So, so far, three prophets gave prophecies and their prophecies were all false. Let's move to the next one. Now, Nigeria, is, this is for Nigeria. The players. So the players, when I look at it, the way they are playing is well this is nice that's something that what i want nigerian fans to play pray for because when you when you support back up somebody prayers things go well okay. <laughs> so it is not physical something football is not a physical something that you don't take it as how what you are seeing there that is all no so nigeria should pray pray for the people call the number 18. okay number 18. number called what looks also okay look look i don't know Look, look, and look more, yes. So they have to pray for that one. Let the ball that is taken to the goal and just pray for that ball to score. Mm. Because a chance has been given to him in the realm mm. to score. Mm. So let him use it well. Wow. Then I come to the same Nigeria advice. Nigeria is another thing that what there is a chance that also given to this man. This is a wonderful chance and also, you know, a make people to say, ah exciting ch chances so that mm -hmm. they will not miss it also also man okay. has been given the chance in the realm wow. that this is for the basketball kick okay a basketball kick Shagalo. you know Shagalo. yes when someone kicks up yes. like this and yes. forth yes yes a chance has given to him mm. a chance has given to him so nigerians should pray for these chances two chances these two chances in order to be so mm. 
so that they should not miss it. Okay. Are you getting what I'm hearing? Yes, sir. They should not so that they will not miss it. Hear me well. Yes. Let them begin to now. The 18 chance is given to him. And also, uh Usman's chance is given to him in the realm. To stop. So the church should pray for these two chances. The chance is yes, pray for them. Then I as a man, as a, as a bond is going on, Nigeria, like the other day, should also pray for also strength for them. Yes, because it will be tough. Mm. It will be tough. Yeah. Then the Africa's side, the Africa's side, the Cote d'Ivoire. Mm. So what are they going to do right now? Also Nigeria, wants to also advise Nigeria. Nigeria should mark that twenty because a chance is also given to the twenty-two from Africa. Africa. Yeah. Mm. The so chance is also given to twenty-two in order to score. So they should mark him well. Mm. They should mark him well. The 18, uh, 23, 23 24 of Africa Coast, a chance is given to him, but the chance is not as other people. Uh, yes, uh, so slim chance. Yes, so the chances that given to Nigeria, the two chances are heavier than uh, those people. Okay, so it's more clearer than those people. So, not, so when they are praying, oh God, let Nigeria should not have these are chances. So okay. are given to God. Um, all that things are going on in the realm. This is called post and uh, the same post is still crying. Uh -huh. The gold post is still crying there. The Nigeria also, Nigeria has also prayed, prayed for. We should not enter into five five now. Uh -huh. We should pray against five five now. We should not enter into, into, into five five now because the game is it will be tough. Then they they Nigeria also the Nigerians are looking for. They, this is called Africa. So let me go to Africa. Okay. The Africans, they are uh, the God of Wands. They are now their own. They I want to play the rough game. The rough game. Okay. If they continue with that rough game, it will not give them a good answer. Oh. I repeat again, rough game. This rough game will not give them a good, good, good answer. Then Nigeria should also pray. Nigerian fans, the fans should pray because they are playing in their own country. Against partiality, partiality. Mm. What do I say? Partiality. Yeah, partiality. Okay, pray against it. Yes, pray against it. Mm. So these people, their rough game is now going to now is the the rough game is going to now take as what because because of the rough game, the this thing is going, the the referee is going to the far. Okay. The far in order to check to find out if to find out if the referee is going to check the bar in order to now check what going to now take place against. This is called Cote d'Ivoire. Because they are playing rough. Because they are rough playing. It's going to bring uh, what's called personal penalty. Oh, okay. yeah, personal penalty. Because Nigerians, I saw them the way they are, they are looking for personal penalty. When they look at the people because of the games that they are playing, the rough games that they are playing. So then the Africa's people, they are on. They should play against because they should play play against what is called yellow cards. They should play against yellow card because it's too long. Okay. Because that yellow card should not go to uh, two times to a man. Oh. So that's how it is. So Nigeria, if by adventure, this thing now come to what is called private penalty. Anywhere you are in Nigeria, be on your knees. Be on your knees. I'm pray for Nigeria. I'm pray for Nigeria. <laughs> Ooh. I pity those people who are following uh, Prophet Jeremiah Fufeni. You all had the nonsense he was just saying. Rough five penal, rough game, a personal penalty. Chance is given to Lukman to score. Chance is given to Sime to score. Chance is given to so 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 to score. This has proven that Jeremiah Fufeni is a false prophet. He's a false prophet. A true prophet of God has to say the Lord. When he says something, it must come to pass. So this proves to you, this shows you that Jeremiah Fufu is a false prophet. But some of you, because the devil have blinded you, you will not want to agree. Now let me show you the last one before we call it a day. So um, in this video I'm about to show you, Robert Angel told this congregation that the eagles will overcome the elephant. But later he said a man called him and offered to give him a million dollars if he was going to change the winner of AFCON. So he said within one hour he went to beg God and God changed the results. So let's see the video when we get back, we'll talk about it. I remember when the World Cup was being played and every prophet got it right that it was France that was winning. 
no 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 I, I don't mean to mock them they actually got it right but there are few prophets that are given an option to change it after I announced this is what I saw a man called me and said man of God what does your church need I said we are looking for money to do what we need to do with our ministry we have this he said no I can give a million US dollars I said why don't you just give it he says I'm gonna give it freely but I want you to change the winner of Afcon so now I have at least maybe one hour to change it in that one hour I'm gonna convince God in some way big tremendous ways have you not seen us here with people who say my child is a girl oh who is this one? Oh, you are the father the child was what again as a girl was a girl imagine the doctor said this is a girl I come here I say no we're now changing I'm negotiating with God I go around here for 30 minutes I say it's okay now go to the hospital they came back with a boy do you understand what I'm talking about He's now a boy yes so you can understand if there is a benefit that will benefit God I don't care which country is happy to be what I go for the benefit of Christianity if that one million will help our church you are disadvantaged God has the ability to shift I made my decision thank you prophet would you go to a decision without money or with money money cash what do you do now because we can do a lot with money. look there's no man that has the ability to change an event it's god that determines what an event will be no human being no living being can change an event now even if even if at all any prophet will change an event not somebody like ubatanger this is the same ubatanger that al jazeera reporters disguised as criminals to go and deceive him he didn't have prophetic gift enough to see through their lies they they tricked him and they got him on camera and they exposed him he didn't see anything then he was even aiding criminals people were, were pretending to be criminals he was helping them telling them i will protect you that is the person that say he can change the mind of god say he's god's son if somebody will send you one million dollars so the reason why he will he will beg god to do something is because of money didn't jesus also have partners jesus had partners who were assisting him never did jesus ever open his mouth and start telling people bring your money if you bring money i will do things for you if you, jesus will see a rich man say go and give your money to the poor jesus will never say bring your money to me bring it to me let me use the money to work now the main reason why these false prophets we keep deceiving some of you christians is because you don't read your bible if you remember the story of Naaman, when Naaman had leprosy and he came to meet elisha when Elisha did what God instructed him to do, told him to tell Naaman to go and wash himself in the river Jordan, when Naaman was healed, Naaman offered to give Elisha money and Elisha rejected it. Do you know that the prophet of God must not spoil his anointing with money? Money spoils the anointing of a man of God. The Bible says that, oh yeah, man of God, flee these things. Money, fame, women. Man of God, the Bible says the man of God should flee this thing. Now a man of God is using indirect to tell people that if you have money and you want me to change God's mind, bring the money, bring the money. I will change God's mind for you. That's not a prophet. That's a, that's a witch doctor. That's how witch doctors do. That's not how a prophet should do. Hmm? So you should know what the Bible calls a true prophet and what's a false prophet. Now it's God, the God we know. Is the God the God of football? We know the God of football. The God of football is the God of this world. It's Mammon, Satan, the devil. And he's the one that you can use money and manipulate. You can't use money to manipulate God. True Christians know this thing. There's nothing a prophet will say. There's no revelation a prophet will give to you that will make you carry your money and think that you can change God's mind. You can buy something from God with your money. You will not even think of your salvation. You are thinking of using your money to buy God's mind. Peter in the New Testament, when a man came and told Peter, this power that you people are using, he said, I want to buy it. How much will it cost me? Peter said, your money perish with you. But today we have preachers boasting. Bring your money. I will change God's mind for you. And you say, Ubatenje, change the football. He, the man is playing mind games on you. Ubatenje didn't change anything. These people are playing mind games. So they are all false prophets. They are all false prophets. If he was a true prophet, why didn't he see 
when the Al Jazeera, Al Jazeera reporters came and these guys are criminals and he was supporting criminals. The same love of money that made Al Jazeera reporters expose him because he was he loved money. They were offering to give him money to small good things into Zimbabwe and a man who claims to be a prophet was supporting them. Now he's coming to tell you give him money so he changed God's mind. Now, if you say that Hubert Angel truly changed God's mind, that uh, the prediction he gave was really the mind of God, then you don't know the God you serve. The Lord Jesus Christ is not the God of football. That's the God I serve. He's not the God of football. He's not the God of this world. That's why when uh, Pontius Pilate was telling him that are you the king of Israel, he said, I can save you. Jesus told him, he said, my kingdom is not of this world. He said, my kingdom is not of this world. If the kingdom of Christ is not of this world, how can God be interested in the nonsense things that are done in this world? I want to ask you. Before the Bible will say that this world belongs to God, is is in the book of Revelation. When Satan has been fully defeated, the Bible now says the kingdom of this world has become the kingdom of our God. But as at now, football, whatever you call, any whatever thing that this world is celebrating, God has absolutely nothing to do with it, and that is why God is coming to judge this world. You true Christians, you know what I'm saying. But because these false preachers have blinded you, their God is 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 is, is mammon. Their God is Lucifer. And that's why they be, they be hearing things from Lucifer and be telling you God told them. But the end will turn. The end will turn. You can see how all of them were disgracing themselves. And God have exposed them. So if you have anything to say, feel free to go to the comment section and say it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Till we meet again, God bless you and shalom.